Hello, dear ones. It's so good to gather with you today. I hope that you are doing well. I know these days have been challenging. Today, I want to share with you um, some things that I were added, some things that were added to my spirit during a prayer meeting that I attended earlier today. And the meeting started with a word that was released to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Really? Is that really what we want to hear? And yet what was being said was that God is shaping us through the challenges that we're facing. God is meeting with us and he's equipping us even through the difficulties, through the uphill, uphill battles that we feel like we're pressing in through. I'm reminded that Jesus told us in this world, you will have trouble. But then he went on to say, but take heart for I have overcome the world. And in him, because we are in him, we also are overcomers. In this meeting today, we were encouraged by some scriptures that I'd like to just share with you, and I'm going to read them straight from my Bible. The first was from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, starting at verse 8. And I think that these words will sound very familiar to you about the time that we're experiencing right now. It says, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry the death of Jesus in our body so that the life of Jesus may also be displayed in our body. And then near the end of that chapter, we read, from verse 16, therefore we do not give up. Even though our outer person is being destroyed, our inner person is being renewed day by day. For our momentary light affliction is producing for us an absolutely incomparable weight, eternal weight of glory. So we do not focus on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary but what is unseen is eternal. I hope you can be encouraged by those words to know that what we see around us right now is a passing affliction. It's important, it's critical, it's something that we have to know how to respond to in godly ways, and yet at the same time, it's light and momentary affliction according to scripture because what is eternal is what is lasting. What The things that we look forward to in glory are the things that we have hope in and that God is renewing in our hearts and to our minds. And it was so good in this prayer meeting today to encourage each other through the scriptures. A lot of us said we came into that meeting feeling heavy, feeling weighed down by the cares of the world and the cares of our lives. And we left that time together feeling renewed, feeling restored, feeling built up again in our faith. It's so good right now to find people that we can journey with. This is not a good time to be alone. This is not a good time to isolate ourselves, even though that is where we're at physically through the pandemic. We need to find ways to reach out to others and connect with others. We need to look after one another. We are the body of Christ. There's a unity between us that brings strength. And I know the enemy's doing everything that he can to divide and isolate us, but we need to step beyond that and look for ways that we can be with other people, speaking the truth to one another, speaking love to one another, speaking encouragement to one another. Another word in that prayer meeting was about paying attention to where God is positioning you right now. So I really encourage you, pay attention to where God has you. And then take some time to look around, look at the landscape, you know, where, where has he put you? What, what has he put into your hand for that place, for those people? And then look at those who are nearby. Look at those that you can partner with in faith. And then also look at those that you can encourage with your faith. God wants to release his favor and his goodness through each one of us right where he's placed us. 
And so I want to conclude this time just another word of encouragement from Scripture that we pressed into today that I know many of us are familiar with, but it does just cheer our heart. And this is from Lamentations, from a book that is about struggle, from a book that is about God's discipline and God's punishment. And right in the heart of that book, in Lamentations chapter 3, verse, starting at verse 21, it says, Yet I call this to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's faithful love, we do not perish. For his mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And so I say, the Lord is my portion. And therefore, I put my hope in him. I encourage you, dear ones, put your hope in the Lord. Remember that in him, we are overcomers in the world. And that these Afflictions are passing and momentary compared to the eternal hope that we have in Jesus. And so I just pray I release to you hope and peace and faith today that you may go from strength to strength in him who loves you. God bless you, my friends.